Good morning, YouTube. It is 4.32 on this Thursday. Uh, today's topic is energy generating wearables. Gzzz. Way too early for that Higgs chromosome in space, the electrons like the magnetism all particles and momentum of receptors radiation are mathematics a solution asteroid what am i doing up uh let's see here read an article in the news um we have uh there's this company uh, actually i'm not sure if it's a company or if it's still Still just a lab if it's in the lab phase. Um, they, uh, you know how we have all these devices on us, um, like our phone. Um, you know, some people wear watches or bands or whatever the case may be. Um, and we're always plugging them in uh, to, to recharge their batteries. And, you know, like this, this phone takes forever. Um, and it burns up energy real fast. And, and then I got to plug it in all the time. Well, um, there is this fabric that they made clothing out of, or that they can make clothing out of. Um, it's flexible. It's lightweight. Uh, and I guess it's comfortable. Oh, comfortable enough to wear. And every time you 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 press it or you walk around or whatever, you deform it in any way, it generates uh, power. And so, what's this? What's this made out of? It's um, there are two layers to this. The first one is a I think fabric or textile. It's a silver coated textile. In the other layer, it's a, um, it's what is it? It's got, I think it's got rubber, and then it's got uh, silver and zinc uh, nanofilaments, I think is what they said. Uh, and these are, excuse me, um, these are fibers that are uh, really thin. They're like, uh, what did it say, like an angstrom thick or, or something like that, which, you know, an angstrom is really a small measure of of uh, width, and so you have you know you have these uh, two layers, and when they when they're rubbing up against each other, uh, they work on static electricity, uh, like when you know, like when you've got certain clothing, and you rub your feet on the carpet and you zap someone. <laughs> uh, same principle. So you know it's one one layer is stealing electrons from the other layer and uh, you generate uh, electricity generate energy uh, they if they they had a they had two layers of this you know so a layer of silver a layer of the the rubber with the nanotubes a layer of silver a layer of uh, nanotubes uh, and they they pushed it down once and it created 1.1 milliwatts um, so it's not much energy but you know it's enough to like if you had a shirt that if you had a shirt that was uh, that had LED lights or whatever uh, just walking around would probably power those LED lights uh, their their prototype or their test thing had a uh, Let's see, it had LEDs, it had LCD screens, like little screens, uh, that the shirt powered. Uh, and I think even had like a, a remote entry, a keyless entry for a car that was embedded in the sleeve or something like that. Um, so, you know, something like this, um, you, you walk around, you're, you're basically, you know, a walking battery uh, with this kind of material. Um, and if it's comfortable and fashionable, then, you know, it'll probably spread, um, among the public and that's all fine. You know, you know, the public likes to have these kind of things. 
I think more more interestingly though is if you have like uh, uh, medical responders or um, uh, the military uh, or emergency response like uh, uh, police or fire fighters you know they they all have their devices that are battery dependent um, and if you have sort of the if you have this power clothing um, you start to worry less about batteries and you have a way to to generate energy because those guys are running around all the time anyway you know um, why not why not have clothing like that you know you just you can have just like a little uh, power adapter or a hook or something or or have a cord uh, and just plug into different devices as you need them <sighs> you know it's not gonna it's not enough power to power a defibrillator but you know maybe maybe a flashlight or I, I don't know you know this thing just came out and well it'll be interesting to see what they what they come up with it um, but you know Kind of, kind of cool to to think that you can generate energy just by moving around. Um, obviously, though, their designs will get better and better, so you'll get more than just 1.1 milliwatts. Uh, maybe you get to power more, more powerful devices. But there you go, energy generating wearables. Um, yeah. Okay, I gotta go get to work. You gotta go do geek whatever it is you do. We'll talk to you tomorrow.